How's it going, Rogue Gallery, and welcome to a Grand Archive gameplay video that is sure to be incredibly fun. Today, I'm going to be piloting a deck that I recently did a full deck tech video for, and that, of course, is one of my favorite decks, Fire Aggro Xander. I get to play some of my favorite cards of all time, including Crimson Tear, a card that I spoiled, as well as the Korhazi Courier, my collaboration card, for Grand Archive. So this deck has a lot of personal, you know, investment in it. And I'm going to be playing against one of the best Grand Archive content creators out there, Dan from Main Deck. So I'm going to go ahead and toss it over to Dan and then we'll get into some really, really excellent gameplay. And I do want to mention before we go on that uh, today there will also be a video on Dan's channel, Main Deck, and I'm going to be playing a different deck. I'm going to be playing Fire Crux Merlin on that deck. You know what? I love fire. I love fire. So without further ado, let's ship it on over to Dan. What's up, everyone? It's Dan with Main Deck, and today I am invading the wonderful Red Zone Rogues channel for a gameplay video of Grand Archive. And in this game, I'm going to be playing one of my favorite decks right now, a Wind Hybrid Lorraine and Merlin deck that tries to play a bit of a controlling game hold down the fort until it can get to level three and drop a majestic spirit. But of course, it has that ability to go the Lorraine route as well. Control the board that way and close the game out with some powerful warrior attacks. So we'll see how the deck does in this game. But if you do enjoy this game, first of all, make sure you like the video. Subscribe to Red Zone Rogue's channel for his incredible Grand Archive and other TCG content. And then when you're all done, you can swing over to main deck where we're going to have another gameplay video using a couple of totally different decks that you can enjoy as well. And then if you do enjoy that, feel free to subscribe to me over at Main Deck to catch more of my favorite TCGs, including plenty of Grand Archive content at least once a week. So I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay video. It is going to be a ton of fun to play, and I hope to see you guys over at my channel when you're all done here. So I got eight, by the way. That's I got a nine. I beat you by just one. <laughs> all right, cool. <laughs> Fight! I will play my Spirit of Wind to draw seven. Let's see what we have this time. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, this, um, sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, this is, well, you're just going to, you're, Kelly, you specifically are going to think this is funny. All right. Um, yeah. I'm going to put four down and I'm going to play a Rose Eternal Paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> turn one, Rose. Uh, yep. Two, three, intercept true sight, and I will pass the turn. All right. Yeah. I mean, it's a pretty good one to get turn one. Against me, right? Just yeah, uh, I, <laughs> I don't mind intercept. It. All right, uh, spirit Slow of fire. Down. We'll get seven. Put my little card on layaway here that I'll be drawing. For the turn. Look, drop a turn. All right. <laughs> oh, you know what? It it is what it it is what it is. A two three, huh? Two, three. All right. Well, I think my play is going to be fairly simple. Not as aggressive as I would like, but it just gets rid of your two, three. So I'm going to play a Lurking Assailant. Sure thing. And then I'm going to play another Lurking Assailant. And then I'm just going to jam both yep. of these into your two. Th I'll shortcut it, but if uh, if you'd like, yeah, I can no. do one at a time. You, you may shortcut. I will use my power of true sight doesn't matter actually that i have that but i will deal two damage back with a retaliate and it will do nothing and then she'll die yep one of them has two damage and then since it's all my cards i will pass go ahead but of course in grand archive damage doesn't stick so nope does not matter let's see okay two lurking assailants that's hey it's two threes for two Ooh. threes for three it's it's the grand archive you know golden rate right now yeah that's that's pretty good that's pretty good um, I was hoping to drop my spicy divine relic this turn, but I don't think I can with that kind of uh, an aggro start here. So we're just gonna go Lorraine level one, and we'll roll for her one cost one two three four, and it went off screen, but it was a one. Okay. You know, you know, Cal, I'm gonna cheat on these uh, yeah. for fun <laughs> yeah. games that we play. Just to, I, I gotta, no, I no, gotta no, make I... sure to dunk you. <laughs> yeah, you're like, uh, let me look at my memory. Okay, that was actually a three. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, oh, before I pull this back, I gotta get the sort of seeking as well. 
which is going to be an important bit of damage here. And then we'll draw for turn. Okay. Sword of Sinking's good. I'm, I'm very curious when they print their next zero cost one two sword, because that seems like the the only option for a lot of people right now. And it would be cool to have like different options, you know? Yeah, sometimes people will do sort of adversity. It happens occasionally, but sort of seeking having a two durability in the true sight, it's just so it's it's a, a great little toolbox card to have in lots of scenarios. Yeah, I, I've seen like uh, at some point in time the great sword of people people are running that, but uh... yep, yep, that'll happen too. Uh, Lorraine's going to Savage Slash using, using Sword of Seeking on one of the Assailants to get three damage on it. <laughs> you sure you're going to attack nope. my face? Uh, yeah, it won't be face. It'll be an Assailant, here, right. unfortunately. The so Savage Slash does have Floating Memory, which is nice. The problem is I have to pass now. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, all right. Let's see what we want to do then. Actually, let's take a look. The interesting thing about this deck in particular is you actually do care about being an Assassin a lot of the time. Um... Or being a level one, it, it's relevant being a level one. This is not a an aggro deck that you can stay zero every single game. A lot of the times you really want the class bonus, especially yep. for like Poison Dagger, but there's also a lot of other reasons you want it as well. Yeah, so, Assassin relies on that class bonus a ton. The prep counter, so you can do things like Ignited Stab right away. Stuff yeah. you want to have. So this is one of those turns where I'm just looking, to, looking at my memory to see if I want to go to level one. Or if I can just kind of hold off on it and just uh, do 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 other things, and I feel like I might want to do other things this turn because I don't think I need to be level one right now. So I think on this turn we hmm we could potentially do a quicksilver grill. That's always an option. If we do that, we would definitely have to level it before we could actually use the dagger. Um, or I can just go for an extra card. So I'm just thinking through my uh, thought processes here before, you know, just for the for the viewers. Absolutely. Out there. Um, Grand Archive, like many card games, but I think more so than a lot of card games, is very like math intensive because you have to like count the number of cards in your hand and then subtract the cards that you play. Plus, you know, there's a lot of just kind of like turn to turn um, basic arithmetic, but it's still like. No, got definitely stuff you have to think about. One thing that took me forever, uh, and I still get a little bit off, is when I'm doing that those kind of calculations, not including the card that I'm playing yes. in the calculations. I put three down, but I forget that I, I'm play, putting three down to play a fourth card, right? And then, and I'll end up like one card off. Like I thought I had lethal, I screwed up. <laughs> that's a, that's exactly what I was thinking about that turn or this turn, uh, and I was like, do I need the extra card to do what I want to do? Yep. Um, so I'm going to grab the Wind, wind Resonance Bobble. So it turns out, I think I do. I might not, but uh, we'll see what I draw off the top of my deck, basically. So yeah, I'm going to recollect. We will draw for a turn. Ooh, that's a pretty good one. You have how many cards in hand? I have three cards in hand. Ah, three cards. Okay. That is... That is a number. It's one of them. Well... You have interaction. I'm just gonna make you have it. I think. Um, so I drew into a pretty good one here. I drew into Arthur. Oh, that is that is a good one. Yeah, it's a uh, it's not bad. So I think. Let's see. Yeah, because I can go. I want to save that for later, so I think we can go like this. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna do his on enter uh, because instead I would like to just attack you with him. So I'm gonna go face for two with Arthur. I will take two. All right. Sweet. Sounds good. Now that he is um, rested, all of my other allies get plus one for this. Well, just they just get plus one. Uh, I would like to assailant you for three. I will take three. And then I'm going to crack my bobble, draw a card, and then play a hasty messenger with my last two cards, and I'll hasty you for two. Um, I have no cards in my hand, so no trigger, but it is two. Two more. Yeah, great. Good. Um, 
And uh, that's going to be it for me. Go ahead. Cool. Let me think about this for a second. Uh, I do have a Savage Slash. I'll tell you, this hand, not not what you're looking for in my position. Um, I, think... I would l love to get a Safeguard Amulet out to be uh, safe from that side of things, but it doesn't matter if the allies just run me over. Mm. I mean, yeah, this is on board seven, seven damage, so... It's, uh, it's a lot. It's a lot of damage. Um, I think... Yeah, I think what I need to do is... We'll wake up here, and we're going to choose... I mean, if I get really lucky, this turn will be amazing. But I probably won't. Um, we're going to ah, go to <laughs> Lorraine level 2. Uh, and we are going to banish the Savage Slash. And we're going to banish one of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We got a 4, 5, 6. So banish a Reclaim. Mm -hmm. Then we'll Recollect, and we will draw Hurricane Sweep. Uh, nope, we did not, ah, actually. Thank God. <laughs> thank God. Yeah. I was like, please. That's 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 the Lorraine, like, classic, right? So she just kills your board and draws three cards and also hits you in the face for, like, four, five damage or whatever. That's exactly what I was hoping to do. Um, instead, what I will do is have Lorraine... She still gets her plus two for the turn, so I'll have Lorraine use the Sword of Seeking to swing at the Arthur for three. Sure you don't attack the Hasty Messenger? Yeah, we're no. going to choose... We're actually going to choose the Arthur. Uh, yep, yep. Arthur Dan. That'll banish the Sword of Seeking and on kill. I do get to draw a card, and maybe that'll be cool. Um, it depends on your definition. <laughs> okay. I guess. Uh, coolness levels um, ambivalent. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, it'll be an academy guide, I guess. Oh, hey. I have nothing else to do other than play that. Um, and I will attack your champion for one. Uh, take one. All righty. Go right. ahead. All right. Let's see. Hmm. You are virtually at what? What do you have? Like, it's level two is like 20, 22? 20, 24. And I've taken 24. Seven, so okay. Gotta deal. 17 is the magic number. Deal 17. I don't think I can deal. I don't think I can deal 17 without. Uh, that poison dagger. Like I mentioned, uh, it really matters being an assassin. Um, you can't like cheat out a fucking soul knife or anything like that without being an assassin. So, right. Probably just level up here, or <laughs> I can be I can be continue to be greedy and set up for. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Is there any advantage to getting my quicksilver grail out now? Um, I guess the advantage would be uh, Xander forces me to banish one of these right now, whereas if I banish later, um, I can set it up a little bit better, potentially. Possibly even uh, getting a floating memory because I have a hasty out, so I think I think I've talked myself into getting the Grail this turn. Makes sense. Uh, so we will pick this card. You have no idea what it is. Could be anything. Could could be a sword of seeking, Rook and Soul Knife. Anything. Um, it let's see. It could be a it could be a cloak of still water. That's a sweet one, actually. Actually, I actually really like that card. I played it in Water Xander for a little while before <laughs> they printed the uh, the scepter and the uh, the insignia. Yep. Um, anyway, I'm gonna recollect and then draw. Let's see. Get some gas. Not too bad, actually. Um. All right, you're at seven cards in hand. I have two cards in hand. Two cards in hand. Okay. So I think... Hmm. I mean, maybe we can run to another Arthur, I think. So I think it's smart to just attack with this first. So I will attack you for one damage. Okay. Uh, hasty Messenger trigger. Yes. Um, I will do the effect. I think we want to discard. It's actually kind of a, a tough choice because the cards are not too bad. But I think we're going to discard in this circumstance. Yeah, it's actually rough discarding that. Hmm. I think it's smart to do this one. So I'll, I'll discard a Manic Zealot. 
And then draw a card. All right, and I will take the one. Arthur? Nope, not Arthur. Um. All right, so let me look at my hand. I can jam out these. Okay, so I'm going to play a very sad Crimson Tear. She's just a 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> Aww. I uh, will go... I mean, I'm, I think I'm slamming the whole hand down this turn anyway. Uh, I'll attack you for two. Take two. Attack you for two with the assailant. I will take two more. I'm going to play another Manic Zealot from hand with my final two cards, and I'll attack you for one. I will take one more. And I will pass the turn. I better go come ahead. up with a way to not lose this game. Um, well, I would love, boy, this is, this is quite a crossroads at this point because just to walk the audience through what I'm thinking here with the, you put the Quicksilver down, meaning that you likely have Poison Dagger under that. Um, Poison Dagger can push an obscene amount of damage when combined with things like Rococo triggers, uh, planted explosives. Um, for Hazi Courier is a, for Hazi a Courier four, four damage, yeah. Yeah, a lot of but there's a lot of non-attack sources that 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 can push that damage to crazy amounts. Blazing Throw, um, where it makes me want to put out Safeguard Amulet. But the problem is, if I put out Safeguard Amulet and given the hand that I'm looking at here, um, I'm not really sure that I'm doing anything this turn. I'll only have one card to try and find something to do. Um, but I do have this Academy Guide in play, so I, I am aware that I'm at this position where. Either route I pick is risking one method of losing the game, but the point is you have a board right now, and i that's the known quantity risk. So we're going to have to deal with that. Um, so we're going to choose to advance once more to Lorraine okay. level 3. Academy Guide is going to reduce the cost of that by 1, so I just have to banish 2 of these. Um, we'll do a one, a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I'll roll these two and re-roll since I got the same and re-roll since I got the same. So <laughs> two and five. Uh, so we'll banish these two. It'll be a Phalanx Captain and a Crux Sight. So you can start to get okay. a hint of what was in my hand. Ah, uh, yes. Um, a, like advanced element stuff, potentially. Yeah, we have some of those, yeah. Um, some of those, my opening hand was those and Phalanx Captains all the way down, basically. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yes. Uh, you had a rose. rose. <laughs> you had a rose. And, and I had the rose. I was glad to have the rose. Don't get me wrong. It's pretty good, yeah. Lorraine Spirit Rulers on enter is going to put this sort of seeking back out with plus three durability counters on it for four durability counters. Not big, just very uh, sturdy, sturdy sword. Very sturdy sword. Uh, then we will draw and recollect, or recollect and draw, I should say. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we actually, this turn is not unreasonable either. Um, okay. Just thinking through what my priorities are. Um, the Crimson Tear is going to go... I mean, you're given that you put a Poison Dagger, you I, are I've, likely, I've sent some pretty clear signals here, right? Yes. You're likely leveling next turn and pushing for game, which makes Crimson Tear become a 3-2. The Hasty Messenger would be good to get rid of here, and I think that's still going to be an option. Yeah, okay, okay. I see, I see what we're doing. I got this. Uh, Lorraine is going to attack using the Sword of Seeking at the Crimson Tear. Okay, For so one, uh, one damage marked on Crimson Tear. An Academy Guide is going to get in there and finish her off. Okay, yep, she's dead. Next. Ghosts of Pendragon. That's a pretty good one. Ghosts of Pendragon is going to send the Sword of Seeking back into my material deck and then draw two cards. Oh, I don't like that I'm going to have to do it this way, but that's how it goes sometimes. So, uh, Ghost of Pendragon will attack the Lurking Assailant. Yep. And then I... I Again, not a fan of this, but I'm going to play Ghost of Pendragon with no Regalia to return. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. And Ghost of Pendragon will attack Hasty Messenger. Yeah, yep. okay. So, mm. I'm, I'm going to leave you. I've got 15 health that you got to chew through. And only the Manic Zealot on board, so I might have another turn yet. I will pass the turn. You made it tough. Uh, end of turn, I will correct the Grail. Of course. To get my... Uh, surprise! It's the Poison Dagger! Yeah, shocked! Yeah, no new, no one knows at all. Alright, um, 
Let's see what we want to material. Okay, so um, I'm pretty sure I still just do Xander here. Let me take a look at my hand again. Um, do that's not bad. But then again, I'm at what? I'm at. You can do six. Seven. You can hit me back for seven plus. Uh, you all on the table? Just four cards in. Uh, yep. Influence? I have okay. nothing in hand, yep. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we... I think we just... Oh, wait. Hold on. I have to, I have to ca account for actually leveling up. So, I will be banishing at least one card. So, that actually changes the math on this quite a bit. Because... That makes it so I will not be able to do everything. I don't have any floating memory. Hmm. All right. So now I think. Is there any way I can kill you without Poison Dagger? I don't think so. I mean, Poison Dagger still does one damage, even without the class bonus. But with the one damage, I don't think I can get up to 28 this turn. Um. Hmm. <laughs> decisions. Decisions. Well, actually, well, actually, okay, well, we are going to go to Xander 1. Um, this is, might be fairly relevant which card we hit here, so we got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 1 here, 5 here, reroll on 6, 2, let's see what this is, that is a Korhazi Arsonist. So that's a mid mid range hit. Um, I'm gonna glimpse two and then put a prep counter. So let's see what we get for the turn. Oh, okay. Hold on, let me take a look at my memory again. So that's. I think it's too close. It's not. It's not. Well. It's close. I don't doubt um, that you're close. I know you can. I know that deck can get there with the yeah, right hand. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's interesting. It's not like a super clear cut. It's yeah. Hmm. 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 So. Can comfortably do like eight. I could do actually, I can comfortably do 10, 11, 12. I can do 12. I think I have to have one. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to. I, I will end up so I'll draw one of these right I'll have five cards in hand I can go I don't think it matters which one of these I draw then uh so I'm gonna draw yeah we'll go top top like that I think um so prep counter draw for turn okay so Yeah, I'm like, I think I'm like one card. I think I'm like one card off. Um, <laughs> That's how it always is in Grand Archive. Yeah, because I, I did a lot of the math in my head with the card that I would be playing. Like we mentioned this earlier. Yeah, yep. the math in my head with the card I'd be playing. And I was like, well, if I had that extra card, it'd be very nice. Um, and I I still I'm at. 19 now, so I don't run the risk as much as the ki you know, killing me on the crackback. So it's not as as big of a as big of a risk. So I think, all right, whatever. I'm just gonna I'll go for the smaller.
play. It'll be a decent chunk of damage, I think, but not uh, not not a ton. Uh, if I had one more card, this would be very very nice. But all right, so I'm just gonna play my my Karazi Courier. Actually, I'm gonna play it with. I think I do want to discard. I'm gonna play it like this and keep this one in hand. Um, and if I poison dagger you this turn with these on the field, daggers one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can do eight on board, shooting my own zealot. Um, I would take him to 19. I would need like 10 damage next turn. Four, five. Yeah. Yep. Without it is just um, three damage. Um, it's a little bit of a gamble. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the gamble. So I am gonna I'm gonna poison dagger you this turn. So I'll hit you for one. Alrighty. One marked. Alright, I'll take you for two with the zealot. Take two. Two with the Korhazi Courier. Two. On hit. Uh, on hit trigger, draw a card, and discard a card. Alright, uh, yeah, I knew what this was. Uh, I'm going to discard this uh, Crimson Tear, and we're going to do damage to the Zealot, so I'll hit you for three. One, and then one, two, three. Yep. Yep, and uh, I'm done. Go ahead. Alright, so just the Courier left. So... Oh man, I want to materialize Drawn Blade so badly just to dig another card into my deck and find one of my really sweet answers to dying. But um, I have in my material deck a card that can get me still out of a lot of kills. So I think I still just have to do the safeguard amulet uh, yep, to prevent yep. against dying to planted explosives and blazing throw and Rococos and all that stuff. So yeah. And then we'll just get our one draw for the turn. Recollect and draw. Oh, that's an interesting card. As they always tend to be. Oh, you know um, what? I, I, I might have messed that up. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. You had, a, you had a play to get a little more damage in? I did, but it might not matter. So just go ahead. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Um, so I just have to deal 18 to you this turn. And... Like, I, I could have dealt at least... I mean, like, on board, you know I could have done at least two more because I could have gotten my soul knife and attacked with Xander for initial yes. two. Hmm. I only... Yeah, that's... that. Unfortunately, that won't. That won't do the trick here. So... This will have to be okay. Uh, we are going to play Dream Fairy. Oh, that's pretty good. Yep, that's, we'll go that's ahead and tuck that back in. Gives you another card to work with, though. Um, I only have one card left in hand, and I'm just going to shortcut and hit you in the face for three, six, seven, eight total. Yep, uh, I'm at nine. All right, and go for it. Let's see if you got the kill with the safeguard out. Yeah, safeguard. I mean, it's going to come down to, I think you, you either have rending flames <laughs> or you don't, but we'll see. So safeguard only prevents non-attack damage. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I think I, I think I got gotcha. you. Um, I, I believe it. I would not doubt that. Cause like, do I, I don't even know if I need the ripper for this. I have one card in hand. Cause I could just grab the soul knife or the sword of seeking. That would be eight. Wait, how much health do you have? You have twenty-one. Have Twenty-eight. So I have. Yeah, sorry, I've taken twenty-one. So I have seven left. Okay. I I don't think I need to take the risk. So I think, I think we just grab the uh, sort of seeking here, and then we recollect. Yep. Draw for turn. And I'll see if you have any shenanigans because I do have a rending flames. If I had Resolute Stands in the deck and I had one in hand right now, and as uh, viewers of the national stream know, I am actually at a level where I can play Resolute Stand for free, then I would be able to. Yeah, but... yes. Yeah, so I'll, I'll go through the motion. So I'm going to do Rending Flames. Yes. Uh, paying for it here. Um, I will be attacking with the Sword of Seeking as well, which has two durability counters on it. Um, 
I do have the cards to banish here, so we'll just banish these three because uh, it is an on attack, not an on hit. And so this will be coming in for four damage and then um, doubled basically on hit. Yeah. Oh. And all I have is the sudden steal to kill you with next turn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I have a mark the target for one extra point of damage, but uh, that's all all I had going on. Basically, the the turn when I was like I was really close to, to dealing lethal. I had to mark the target as well. Um, it's actually nice for the the poison dagger turn. Yeah, it. I mean, it, it's a pretty solid amount of damage. I'm just trying to see if I had no. I mean, there was a swift recruit that was coming up, but it was a little too far away. So yeah, yeah I, my my opening hand was three failings captain, two ghosts of pendragon, and then it was like rose and reclaim or something. I was like. <laughs> this is an awkward hand. <laughs> I think yeah, th this is the kind of deck, like the the fire aggro Xander, is if your opponent stumbles like a little bit, you can really, really take advantage of that and just kind of run them over. Whereas like some of the more mid rangey decks, you know, you take advantage of it, advantage of that by playing like one extra two three or, or something like that. Right. Um, but um, all right, well, thank you for for that match. Yeah. Um, what time is it? That was here? honestly a, a pretty close game still. <laughs> it was actually. So uh, I'm going to leave this part in, in the recording if we use this. I was at nine. I One of the things I was thinking about is very much like him just killing me on, on like the next turn. I was like, um, like at some point you're just like, well, can he just kill me with all of his dudes and he hit me for seven that turn? Um, and so, yeah, the, any any extra point of damage, any couple extra points would have would have done it. And in Grand Archive, as we mentioned before, uh, everything basically has haste, so um, any ally or two just just does it. Not to mention his big old big old swing that would more than do it. The I'm trying to think. I didn't do my failings, Captain Math. If I drew the fourth one there that turn, I think I could have played both of them because the first one would have cost two, and the second one would have only cost one, and the damage would have gone to five. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I would have been one off of killing you <laughs> if yeah, I in, drew the Phalanx Captain that turn. In hindsight, the turn that I did Poison Dagger, I, I probably should have done the, the Soul Knife as well. I think I had enough fire cards in my bin to, to get the Soul Knife for free and then also yeah. still do Rending Flames on the next turn. It would have only been two more damage, but it, you know, it could have meant the difference between winning or losing. So just pointing that out. It absolutely could have that like that. That can be really important because, you know, I could have drawn Veiling Breeze that turn. Yes. And yes. been able to put up like a, an admirable defense actually against anything that you had. Um, so any extra point of damage might have also been the difference between winning or losing, depending on what I drew. Yep. Yep. So keep keep that in mind, even even though I ended up winning that one, I probably should have uh, done the, the Soul Knife. And that, that's kind of thing that you um, the more you play with the deck, the more, you know, or the less times you miss that, you know, that kind of stuff.